Round one of this contest between in the white shorts Jeff Ofori and in the black shorts Lee Hallett. This was meant to be a contest tonight between Ofori and Frank Arnold for the Southern Area title. Unfortunately, the fight was called off at the last minute. I, I, you know, as a fighter myself, mentally that would have, you know, put me down a little bit. But he's come out with a positive stance. He looks like he's still up for the fight. But, you know, going from a title fight to just a six-round, just a move-around. Or not a move-around, it's a bit rude, but just a, just a six-round fight is, is a bit frustrating. Or very frustrating, actually. Yeah. I suppose with, with a win in the Southern Area title, it is a real title, a genuine title that'll yeah, most open, definitely. open a few doors for you and potentially get a shot at the British or other titles. Yeah, no, most definitely. It's, you know, you probably planned his whole weekend around, you know, that fight, thinking after I win this, what I'm going to do. Probably sold a lot of tickets for a title fight, so it's also hard to tell your crowd that, you know, it's no longer a title fight. Like, yeah. you still want to come? But, yeah, and like I said, it opens doors. You go for the English next, then British potentially, and, you know, I'm just, yeah, it's a good title to have. It's a real title. And uh, with all due respect to Lee Hallett, a victory over Lee tonight will probably just be like a, a tread in water type of victory for uh, Ofori. Yeah, well, yeah, most definitely. But Lee Hallett is very awkward. He's going to spoil your work. He's going to move, hold, all of that, so... See how Jeff handles it. Oh. It's a patient start from Mofori so far. A couple of nice shots on the inside. Yeah. Oh, good shots there. He needs to try and put on a, an impressive performance tonight to Ofori just to keep himself in the mix. Yeah, most definitely. Hopefully the Southern Area title fight can be rearranged very soon. Yep, and he's just got to stay ready and stay in shape for that. But at least, you know, he gets he doesn't have to pull out. And, oh, the good right hook from Lee Hyatt. Didn't see that coming. But Hallett oh, holding oh, on the ref's blind side. I thought we still getting some shots off with his right hand, though. You know, sneaking in that uppercut. Good shot. Nice positive start to the fight from Jeff Ofori. <laughs> Lee Hallett a little bit late off his stool. And a fast start to the round by Ofori. He's throwing the 2-1 the quite well. He just goes with the backhand and then comes in with the, with the left hand. It's, it's a jab, but because of the movement, it, it's a bit more power in, the, in, in that shot, which is, I think is a good shot. 
But Lee Hall is fighting back. Lee Hall at the records of just a one win, 54 defeats and two draws. Only been stopped twice though, so tough customer. Yeah, tough customer, tricky customer. This is 040's 17th contest as he loads up with a big right hook. A record of 11 wins, four defeats and the one draw. I think so far in his career, every time 04 he just steps up in class, he, he struggles a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah, he just he just falls that little bit short, but that, oh, good shots again. He's looking impressive so far tonight. And I think as as you touched on as well at the start, I mean he's he's maintained his discipline to put on a good performance tonight because no doubt he would have been very disheartened with the, the late pull out of uh, Frank Arnold for the the title fight. Yeah, most definitely. Doesn't want to get careless though. He doesn't want to walk onto any silly shot, and um, yeah, that would totally derail all his plans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you know, one wrong move tonight would, you know, like you said, derail his plans for fighting for that title. The one big name on Lee Harlett's record is Harley Ben. Beat him on points back in 2019. He's also had a couple of draws more recently, so he will upset the local fighters if he can. It was a good one two again from a 40. There's that right hook again, he threw it, just was a lead shot. Probably easy to see. Oh, he walked oh, onto walked a solid a... job. That's what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to get careless, like you said, and walk into shots like that. I mean, it's a tricky one for O'Forty because he, he wants to put an impressive performance in against a, a guy he knows he can beat, the guy who hasn't got the best of records. But how much, how aggressive do you be against these guys? Yeah, that, just like we were talking about earlier, you, you, you want to be aggressive, but not overly aggressive. You know, you can spoil your work or get caught in between it, but... Again, Lee Hallett taking every single second on his stool possible. This is six round contest in the super featherweight division. So far, the Hackney boxer, Jeff Ofori in control he's closing down the ring well Hallett's moving left to right but before he's shutting off the ring well keeping Hallett on the ropes just noticing there now Jeff before he putting his foot on the the south ball lead foot of Lee Hallett often happens when orthodox fighters fight, uh, face south balls feet getting tangled up it's almost like a battle of who put, who controls the footwork. Yeah. That's very important when it's Sapo versus Orthodox. The referee lets the action continue. Good fighting on the inside from both fighters. Lee Hallett holding a lot. Lee Harlett leading with the head a little bit there. Lovely right hand from Jeff before you could see him lining up, just patiently waiting for the chance to launch it.
good combination there from Ofori. Oh, and another good right, right hand, left hand combination. Got very fast hands, Ofori. Oh, he got caught there with a left, with a left hook. Was he slightly stunned? He's just getting careless in there. He's having a bit too much fun, and that's what caused him to get hit with that left hook. Into the fourth. We felt your ringside of four. He was getting a little bit careless, a little bit reckless, too eager to try and impress his fans here. Yeah, I, I think of four. He wants to stop his, but he shouldn't rush it. He should let it come if it comes. Hell, it's a tricky customer. It's tough. He's going to spoil your work. He's going to hold. He's going to move. He's, he's going to make you look messy. So you just want to take your time, just like he is here. He is holding a lot now, Lee Harlett. Remember, he's only been stopped twice in his 54 defeat, so a very tough customer. Very. Nice combinations again from Afori. Afori's landing at will here. He, probably, he possibly could get the stoppage here. He plays it smart. He's digging that right into the body very well. I mean, is there anything else he could be doing here, Jeff Ofori? I mean, he seems to be commanding the action. He's landing to head and body. It was a good left hook. It was a good left hook. Yeah, he is. He is commanding action. He is, you know, landing at will and throwing shots. But he, he, he could... Oh, good left hook there from him as well. But he needs to just not get careless. Not allow Lee to smother his work. He's just said and done. But, you know, sometimes take a half step back, look at your work and then go again. You, ever, you ain't always got to be so close to your opponent. Lee Hallett holding a lot now. There's the feet getting tangled up again. Nobody's fault. Just It's one of those things. Oh, good right hand. The right hand's landing at will here. That, that's the shot. Oh. But is that like right there. The odd occasion, he's getting caught with the hook because he's getting too anxious. And he's trying to... He's being over-aggressive. And he's getting caught in between his attacks. Harlat now holding every time he feels the pressure from a 40. I wonder if the ref going to take a point at any stage of this contest. Not that it's really going to make a difference on the scorecards. Harlat again leading in with the head. Oh, both boxers loading up with big shots. Both loading up with big shots. All those shots had good night written all over them. <laughs> so the pattern of the fight continues, which is Ofori being the aggressive fighter, landing vast majority of the shots, landing really good combinations, but getting caught occasionally with the odd counter shot from Harlot. They're yeah, good body shots from Fori. Lovely right hand again. Yeah, that right hand been working all night. It's been working well all night for Jeff Fori. Afori, just the three stoppages on his record from his 11 win, so the, the record suggests he's not a massive hitter. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes if you land the right punches enough times, you can overwhelm your opponent and, you know, probably, probably, probably you know, get a stoppage. Now 
Nice work again from Aforio. Oh, lovely right hand. And again, Harlots just spoiling the action. Fori just losing his balance. Not sure if the feet got tangled up. Probably a mixture of the feet and then a, a wild shot at the same time, falling into it. There we see it again. Every time Harlot gets hurt, he just grabs hold of for 40 like a a baby grabbing his mother. <laughs> oh, the left hand's working well now also. again good combinations coming in from Jeff Ofori yeah he throws lovely combinations he's really he letting his hands go here so the final round of this contest Jeff Ofori's probably done everything bar stopping his opponent so far yeah I'd agree with that He's looked really good. Nice combinations. A little bit reckless at times, but you know this is boxing. You will get caught occasionally. Yeah, he's working the job really well this round. Got a good job of 40 when he uses it. This is probably the only round he's decided to, to box and not look for the stoppage, and he looks good. Yeah, I was thinking that. I mean, I suppose if you're going to be super critical, you'd say maybe he underused his job or missy, you know, didn't, dare, uh, didn't use it enough, but. Yeah, he's, he's using it well in this round. I think as well by using the jab, it's more, a lot more difficult for Hala to, to hold him and spoil his work. Yeah, most definitely. Forty just seems content now just to box his way through this final round to his points victory. And hopefully the southern area title fight can be rearranged as soon as possible. Yep, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be hoping for that. He won every round on my card over here, so... The last thing he wants now is maybe a, a stupid cut or a, 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 a bruise or something like that to happen, which would put him out of action for a while. I mean, of course, the nightmare scenario is to get caught with a silly punch, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. The way he's boxing, I think, he'd be, I think he's safe. Oh, back of the head there. Bit of a rabbit punch from Hallett. The last few so seconds of a contest and it's been a really impressive display from Jeff Ofori on a night when he thought he was going to be fighting for the Southern Area title but still a good display all his fans will be happy the bell sounded but it was a very quiet <laughs> bell and they, a little bit of extra action Punches, after the fight yep. but um, 